Here are the general options you'll choose before you uh, start your search. We already set the uh, text options and now we're on the uh, general options which gives the specification for how the search is going to proceed. Quite a lot of information here but let's uh, focus on the first half uh, initially. And let's look at sentence distribution. Um, so what we're going to do is search for a word or a phrase and we're going to count that word or phrase uh, in terms of where it occurs in the sentence and there's different ways of doing that. Uh, one is by raw position, that's this position one. We have first position, second position, third position, so on, last position, penultimate position, prepenultimate position, and what is left in the middle. Um, when you have so many uh, raw positions specified, then probably this thing down here excludes sentences with words fewer than, you want to send that to about uh, 10 or something like that, so you get the right spread across this. Uh, the other option is to choose this percentage uh, division. So here, we're going to divide the sentence into 3, into 5, into 10, uh, whatever number of bins you want to uh, use. And so here, the program just counts the number of words in the sentences and divides by 5 or whatever number you've put in there. <coughs> uh, so there's two different ways of uh, approaching position sentences. And then the similar situation for paragraphs. So uh, here's the bins for the paragraphs, or now the raw positions are the first sentence, second sentence, and so on. Uh, and similarly for sentences, uh, sections, uh, bins versus raw position, and the text as a whole. Um, uh, as, as we noted before, then this is kind of has labels for writing, but uh, you know, if uh, you're using a spoken discourse, then maybe what's here is called paragraphs uh, is really a turns in your in your discourse structure. On this side, we have the wildcard characters. If you need to search one of these, you can just you can just change it if you don't like these. Um, here's the word delimiters. So what counts as a word is either some alphanumeric characters followed by surrounded by spaces or by one of these punctuation um, marks. So if you want to search one of these then you have to take out of the word delimiters. And here typically if it's a Western language you're counting words rather than counting characters. We usually don't want to look inside the tag structure so we skip whatever's within, within the tags. Um, let's say you want to exclude sentences with a few words and maybe exclude paragraphs with a few sentences. Do you want to make the, the search case sensitive? And uh, if you're searching for a phrase, um, uh, typically you don't you, you don't want one part of the phrase being one uh, unit and the other part of the f phrase being the second unit. So you don't want to cross sentence boundaries. Uh, and so that's just making sure that doesn't happen. And uh, this one, uh, the span, so if you're searching for something like in terms of, that's kind of only looking at the you know, raw, the raw positions here, then you know, it's, it's covering three positions, so do you want to counting as occurring in the first position or in the third position? Um, so this is kind of setting the options up for your, for your search. And, you, um, and then once you've set that, uh, then you can go ahead and uh, start your search.